Hi everybody. Welcome to my page. My name is Debbie and my page is Southern Comfort with Debbie DIY. Um, if you're new to our page, uh, type newbie in the comments and let me know you're new. I say hi to you. Um, want to know where you're from, how the weather is, what you've been up to. Uh, if you've been here a while, please, please sprinkle the video. Uh, we all know how much this helps me to share our inspirations with others. Um, and if you're new here also, if you're having a hard time because uh, the conversation is in your way, you can swipe the comments to the right. And that way you can see what I'm actually doing here. What we're doing here today is we're going to build a three-tiered shelf. So I have a sheet of plywood and I just cut some circles out of. Hold on, let me get a tape measure here. Um, hold on, i got to find it. Oh, here it is. Okay, so the, the smallest one whoops, is about 11 inches. So this is the top one. The middle one is 13 and a half. And the bottom one is uh, about 16 inches. So that's what we're doing here today. And I have these um, pieces. They're actually for stairs. Um, they're from Lowe's, so look in the stairs section where, where you build stairs. And I have some uh, E6000, some Vaseline, some wood glue, and some paint that we're going to be using here today. So what we did was we measured the middle to the middle and just drilled a hole in between the two bottom ones. Uh, my husband actually accidentally drilled a hole in this one, so we're just going to turn it over and act like it's not there. <laughs> okay, before we do anything, we're going to paint. I, I went ahead and stained these in walnut ahead of time, so they had time to dry. They're still actually a little bit wet. And give them a couple hours to dry at least, because I, I uh, stained these about four hours ago. And they're still just a little bit. Not much, but just a little bit wet. Okay, so I have my paint here. And I want to do like a green underneath, but then again I don't. So I'm just going to do the white here and see how it turns out. Let me get my paint open. The weather here was gorgeous today, um, but they are calling for snow on Friday. Um, it's in May, but we're in Michigan, so, you know, that's just how it goes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put just a little bit of Vaseline here and there. Not a whole lot. Just a little bit and mainly around the edges. Because what I'm going to do is um, wherever you put the Vaseline, your paint won't stick. And it kind of helps to make it weathered. So I'm just doing a little bit around the edges. Not a whole lot around each of my edges. And as we go around and paint, this will make it a whole lot easier for us to weather it and make it look old. And I'm just putting a little bit in the middle here in spots. Not a whole lot. Okay, so I did the first two. Um, I have still to put some in the middle of the other one, the uh, second one. And I'm just going to start to dry brush. I don't really want to put too much paint on it. How's everybody doing today? It's been a weird week here. Um, I haven't been on the last two days, mainly because uh, I woke up yesterday and my neck was really hurting me bad. I mean, really bad. And... I could barely move my neck at all and then today I woke up and um, I have a pain going all the way down my back down to like where my hips are even and it's in a straight line just going all the way down so it's really really giving me a tough time <clears throat> and I'm trying to just get through it the best I can I may end up going to the ER tonight um, I think I have a pinched nerve that's what it feels like so hopefully that's all it is, just a pinch nerve. 
but I don't know. It's It's been a booger. I mean, I'm just really, really not happy with it at all. I was able to get a little bit of laundry done today, um, and that's about it, other than taking care of the animals. I did all the animals, and uh, Neil even helped me with that some. So there's not going to be much dinner tonight. It's a good thing. I went to my daughter's the other day, and um, I made a big, I made three pans of lasagna for her and, uh, and my grandkids. So we brought one whole pan home. Now I'm just going around the edges, doing the same thing, just dry brushing it. And it's heavier in some spots and not so heavy in others, and that's okay. Um, yeah, so we went to my daughter's, and I made three big pans of uh, lasagna and brought home a big pan of that. So thank God Neil loves lasagna. He will eat lasagna for days, and he may have to <laughs> because I tell you what, this girl just is not, not going to have it with cooking right now, and I love to cook, but holy moly. What I'm trying to do is just make this look weathered and beat up. You could actually beat this up too with a, um, with a, I'm trying to go with the grain too. So the grain's going this way. Um, you could beat it up with a hammer, with a chain, uh, anything you want really. And I may even go a little heavier in some spots. This is not uh, chalk paint I'm using. This is regular paint from Lowe's. And it's just a white satin that I'm using. Because I really didn't want a high gloss on it. I didn't want it to be too shiny. And flat paint, you can't really wash. If you wash flat paint, it'll just take the paint right off. So I went with a satin. Which kind of gives you um, very low gloss. But you can still wash it. And that way if something spills on it, you can still kind of fix it. I'm going a little bit heavier here on this side because when uh, he was measuring, he did it with pen. So I've got some pen marks over here. So I'm just trying to cover those up. Okay, so this one's done for now. I might do a heavier coat, um, but I just want it to be able to dry. And I'm going back around the edges in case there's any spillovers. Let me see who's here with us. Is anybody here? Let's see. Okay, and now I'm on number two. And I really don't want these to look like they're brand new. Um, like it's brand new wood. So that's why I'm doing it like this. Hopefully my back starts feeling a little better here shortly. Uh, I was hoping it was going to be better today, but it just got worse, so... Yesterday, I was pretty much laid up in bed all day, um, being a big crybaby. <laughs> so I felt like a big crybaby. But it is what it is, so I got used to it a little bit and decided to try to do something with my day yesterday, and it got worse. So that's why I wasn't on last night. Okay, again, I'm going to go around the edges. Just kind of beat it up a little bit. Not doing a whole lot, just doing a little bit.
And I am going to go over ahead and blow dry these once I get them all done. And remember you're going with, with the grain, long strokes. You could absolutely just leave them stained. Uh, they're quite beautiful, just stained. Terry, are you here with me? I'm not sure she's here or not. So my dog went missing, um, one of my breeding dogs went missing a couple weeks ago, and she had newborn babies. So um, we kept one of her babies, and we named her Willow, and uh, she's out and about now and just having a ball. Hi, Terry. That's on my own crafting. Hey there. Yeah, I, I woke up yesterday with my neck killing me, and um, I could barely move. I was in bed all day, and this morning I woke up, and now I have a, sh a pain shooting all the way down my back to the point where I can barely even walk today. So I'm probably, um, when Neil gets off of work, we're probably going to go to the ER and get it looked at. I'm hoping it's just a pinched nerve, you know, but who knows. Yeah, and the, and the night before that I wasn't on because I went to my daughter's and um, we are building her a vanity for her bathroom. And I made a bunch of uh, three three big pans of lasagna and some homemade bread and <clears throat> Neil was building her, her uh, vanity for her. And we didn't make it home in time, but we usually don't when we go over there. It's so far away. I'm trying to see if you're talking to me or not. <laughs> Let me just go around these edges and make sure I didn't... I'm making a three-tiered shelf here for the for my coffee table. So I'm just going to... Oh, i got to put this down somewhere to dry. Oops. Hold on, that almost fell off. All right. Um... Hold on, I didn't put Vaseline on this one yet. So I'm going to go around and put my Vaseline on this one. Just in some spots. What kind of crash have you been doing, Terry? I haven't been on the last couple of days um, doing much of anything, really. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I barely even got my uh, laundry done today. I, I All I had to do was um, switch them from the washer to the dryer, <clears throat> and I had to fold one load of um, towels. Oh, my gosh, you'd have thought I was dying. Just about killed me to do a load of towels. So I am probably going to... I'm not a big crybaby. When it, I usually will just deal with pain. Um... But this is killing me, and I'm pretty sure it's just a pinched nerve, but I've taken my muscle relaxers and, you know, all that, and it's not helping, so I don't know what to do. All I know is I can't afford to be laid up. I have too many animals that depend on me. Oh, 
We came home the other night, and my finch, all well, five of my six finch were dead. My cats got a hold of them. And I don't know how. Um, they must have waited till they got close to the edge and just snagged them. I'm not sure. And I, I think I know which one it was, too. I think it was Inky, one of the kittens. Because um, the other cats, they just watch them. They don't really try to get them. But Inky had herself positioned in just the perfect spot when we got home. Um, and when I went to feed them, five of them were laying on the bottom. So I'm pretty sure it was Inky that did it. I was so mad at her. Oh my gosh. So now I think I'm going to have to put up some plexiglass um, around the edges of my cage because Inky has figured out how to position herself just right to where if they come near the side, she can get them. I'm going to do a little bit more on this one because it's the bottom one and it can dry a little bit longer. So I'm trying to do lighter, uh, a lighter application so it can dry quicker. And I know it's kind of boring just watching somebody paint, but... <laughs> towards me a little bit and get this side over here and I'm not going to do the bottom of this one because we won't see it um, if it bugs me, I'll do it later, but for right now, I'm not going to do the bottom. Made some Cricut paper flowers. Red shadow box and matching nightlight. Oh, that sounds cute. Ooh, I want to see. All right, let me dry this one a little bit. I still haven't even attempted my cricket yet. <laughs> I really haven't had time yet. And um, Neil hasn't either. We both have just been really busy. I just got all the paint to paint my kitchen cabinets. Um, so that's going to be a new hobby for me for about two weeks. I have a huge kitchen and a ton of cabinets. So... I'll be painting for a while. Not until I get my neck checked out, though. That's what I'm mad about. I finally got my paint, and um, now I can barely do anything. So you can see where I put the Vaseline, uh, where it already doesn't want to stick.
That's pretty dry. So what I'm going to do is just go around and wipe my spots. See, just like that. Kind of around my edges. Gasoline is. And sometimes it dries a little bit harder than you want it to. And I just use my nail to kind of scrape along these edges where I know the Vaseline is. Um, let me put my Vaseline on these. Again, got these from Lowe's. These are in the, uh, in the fencing department. I'm going a little bit heavier on these around the edges. And in the creases here. Okay. Hold on. Oh, there's my paper down. Whoops, can you guys see me? <laughs> I'm not used to where this uh, camera is now. I had to move it. I was barely used to it where it was before. <laughs> Neil wanted me to keep this wood, and I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> I don't like it wood. I mean, I do, it's pretty. Don't get me wrong. But my, my table's wood, so I really didn't want it to match, be matchy-matchy with my table. But you'll still see some wood coming through, so I like that part of it. I've been wanting to do this project here for a couple of weeks now. Um, but I just didn't, I couldn't find the right pieces for the middle here. And I finally found the right pieces, so. They were at Lowe's. I kept looking at Menards. Um, and Menards doesn't have a real good selection of these types of things. So I went to Lowe's, and Lowe's finally had them. And I was like, oh, that's what I wanted, right for the middle, right there. Okay. Let me blow dry this one. Good lord. I got paint everywhere. Messy, messy. <laughs> Crabbed a hot glue gun to blow dry with. Oh, hold on. I got a big glob here that I don't want. Okay. Yeah, Terry, show me pictures of the what you're working on. That sounds really cute. Tomorrow I'm going to be making some patriotic flowers and using some crackle on a flower pot. Um, so I'm excited about that. And then the next day, I'm going to be doing some hibiscus flowers.
All right. Let me see. It's kind of hard for me to tell if it's dry or if it's just the Vaseline. I think it's dry enough. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe off where I put the Vaseline at. So it looks old and icky. Um, hold on just a second. Uh, hold on. Neil took my, um, there it is, my sanding block. <laughs> so, I'm just going to go around in some spots with my sanding block a little bit and just kind of distress it. Just along these edges, just like this. Just kind of beat it up just a little bit. So this one, I think is going to go on the top level. So this one, I want to go right here on the bottom. Whoops, hold on, I didn't put my Vaseline on. kind of nervous about going over to my daughter's now because um, her friend moved in with her and she doesn't use um, a mask and gloves ever because she thinks she's already had it but she hasn't I mean we just barely got it up here um, recently there's still only two cases in my county uh, my daughter's is steadily rising and they're only at 16 cases but still it's rising so it makes me very nervous to go over there um, I know my daughter wears gloves. She's a Cena and she is kind of neurotic even without um, this disease about people washing their hands. And So I know she's pretty safe, um, but her friend is like a daughter to me. I mean, I helped raise her when she was young and she, she was like a daughter to me, still is. Um, but she doesn't believe in wearing a mask and gloves. So that kind of puts me at risk. So I've been trying to not go over to my daughter's as much lately. Just to be safe for myself. When I went over there, though, I wore masks and gloves the whole time I was there. Just to be safe. Um, hold on, let me dry this real quick. So you can see when your Vaseline heats up, it gets a little melty. And that's okay. That's what it's going to do. Hold on one second. I made a little, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I made a ring right there. When I set this down, I don't really want a ring on it.
we're pretty good. And see, I didn't go real heavy on the um, Vaseline on this. But you can go heavy if you want to. And the heavier you want it. You can also go around with your um, sandpaper and just scuff it up a little more if you if you need to. So I'd rather err on the side of caution than not. And then I can go around and just do it myself also a little bit more. Like so. I'm kind of just going around these lines a little bit more. I think that looks pretty good. Let me just wipe it all off. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this one and we're going to put it in our hole here. But I have some wood glue here and some E6000 plus my hot glue. So first thing I'm going to do is put my wood glue on here. And that will hold it. Um, this, does, this takes a while to dry, so I'm, I'm just putting this on here so that it can dry over time. And then I'm going to put my E6000, because it sticks really good to, to metal, so I'm just going to put it all around this metal here, just like that. And then I'm going to put my hot glue into this hole, and that will hold it temporarily for us until all of this has time to set. So I'm going just like so. Just going to put that on there, wipe my glue off. I'm just going to hold it into place a little bit. Now that one's set. Okay, let me get my other pieces here. Sorry if I'm wiggling the, <laughs> wiggling it. Okay, I'm gonna do another little bit of a coat on this one. Cause I didn't go very, very thick on these. I just wanted it, the first coat to just dry. How was the weather there today, Terry? It was nice here, but they're calling for snow on Friday. So I'm not real happy about that. I've got flowers poking their heads out and <laughs> kind of not fair, but that's just how Michigan weather is. Paint dripping all over the place here. Are you guys as messy of a painter as I am? Sorry, I'm kind of moving this off to the side. I don't want to get more paint on the one below. If I can help it. Oops, 
Sorry, guys. Oh, my God, my back. Ah, this is killing me. I'm trying to hold this piece up in the air like this. Oh, Lordy, Lordy. Okay, let me see what you guys are saying, and then I'll blow dry that piece. Uh, hold on. Made some bathroom signs. Weather was great, but a little windy. Yeah, it was it was beautiful here today, and I couldn't even get outside, so I was a little mad about that. Yesterday, oh my gosh, was it windy. Really windy. I wonder if you guys are getting our weather now from yesterday. It was terrible. Have you guys seen the napkins at the Dollar Tree? Uh, the red, white, and blue ones. Americana ones. They have two different ones. And they're both really nice. The bigger pack, though, is hard to get apart when you use them for decoupaging and stuff. Um, but they're a better napkin. And the thinner ones are really easy to get apart. But a little bit. They're not as, as good of a napkin. Okay. Let me just... Try and go around my edges, see if it'll come off. I might have dried it too much. Oh, oh, there it is. I love the way the Vaseline makes it look like it's old and chipped. Um, but sometimes it just dries too much and then it really won't. See, there's a spot where the Vaseline was, but it just dried too much. So I'm just going around the edges and just kind of scuffing it up a little bit. And you can see where you put your Vaseline because it has these like stripes kind of. See like that? And that's, that's what I wanted right there. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with this one. This one is going to go right here. So I'm going to put my wood glue on. Just like so. Before I do this one though, the bottom one is moving on me and I can feel it. So let me get some glue put on, let me get some hot glue put on this bottom one. And it's just moving, well, I think it's good. Because it's in place. It's just, uh, alright, now I'm going to get my E6000. You guys hear my dogs. <laughs> they love to howl. They, uh, we have uh, coyotes around here, and they howl outside. 
And our dogs respond with howling to let them know um, this is our place, stay away from here or we'll hurt you. So that's basically what happens when my dogs start howling. They're howling actually at the coyotes. Okay, I'm just gonna put my hot glue here also. And then I'm gonna stick it right down in there. And just push it down. Okay, now I gotta attach this one to this one. So, let me get my hot glue, I mean my uh, wood glue out. And we're just gonna put our wood glue on there. And our hot glue. Just so it holds it in place. I just want to make sure that I'm getting right in the middle here. I'm pretty sure I'm in the middle. I can't tell. Hold on. Let me stand up. Oh, no, I'm not. Let me move it over a little bit. Right, right there. Just like so. Okay, so that's our second tier. And now we're gonna do the third tier. So here's our third tier. It's getting a little tall for you guys, isn't it? <laughs> and I can't move my camera. So I'm over here trying to paint this one again and just get it another coat on here. Let me see if you guys can see this at all. Can you guys see it? Oh, you can see it. Yeah, they have um, some really nice napkins there. Oh, actually I can show them to you. I got them right here um, because I'm gonna be doing my craft tomorrow using them. So I'll show them to you here in just a second. They're, they're really nice. Let me get this paint put on here real quick, and then I'll show them to you. And so, some of the crafters have uh, flowers that are in red, white, and blue from there. And I didn't see any flowers at mine anyway. So I'm hoping I can find some because they were really cute flowers. They were like uh, blue with white polka dots and some were um, just Americana ones, you know. And... So I was like, oh, I haven't seen those at all. <laughs> okay. Let me set that down. Oh, I have to do this other side a little bit. Because it really doesn't have much on it. I think I want this side to be my top side anyway. I like this, um, it's got a really neat grain to it. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. It's got a really cute grain. So hold on, let me get this. Stay there, you. All right, I'm just gonna let this dry for a second here and I'll show you the napkins. Lord, Lord have mercy, I am a mess. All right. Good thing is I have Vaseline all over my hands, so it's coming off kind of easy. But not off my nails, it's not. Okay, so these are the two napkins I have. Um, they have this one, which is really pretty. Can you guys see that? 
and then this one, which is really pretty. This is a better napkin. See how thick it is too, compared to this one? But this one separates easier for decoupaging. This one is a little bit harder to separate, but is a better napkin. But look how pretty that is. And I got all kinds of new napkins to show you guys too that I got in the mail today. Um, but I'm not gonna have room to show you them. So I'll be showing them tomorrow on here. And we're gonna have a lot of fun with those. I got some really pretty ones. Okay, let me blow dry this one. Can you guys see the top of this? Oh yeah, you can. It's just getting awfully tall, right? Let me see what you're saying. Um, picked up some six inch by four inch little wooden pallets from Dollar Tree. I don't know. What kind of pallets? What do you mean? Like wooden boxes? Because I, I think I have the ones you're talking about and I was going to decoupage them with my... I got some napkins that look like shiplap. And I was thinking about decoupaging um, my boxes, they, they're kind of, they look like pallets, kind of, um, with my shiplap napkins I got. Okay, I'm only drawing this side right around this middle so that my glue will stick. So I'm just trying to dry this middle part. I think that's good. All right, let me get another clean napkin out here to work with on this one. So let me go around my edges. Take my as I'm trying to do this in the camera, but it's so hard because I don't want to wiggle this too much. Cannot wait till I can get my room done, my craft room done, because it's really, it's close to being done, and then I can get, get to painting it. Okay, this is the last part, guys. Let me make sure I get all this off of here. All right, so now I'm gonna do my wood glue right on the top of here. As soon as I'm done, Terry, I'll go get my little wooden boxes I'm talking about and see if it's what you're talking about. Put my hot glue on there and I'm just gonna try to center it. Ooh, I think I did it pretty good that time. And I'm just putting a little pressure on it. And 
there we go. I think that is done. Okay, let me go get um that wooden box and let me see if that's what you're talking about. Because I think you're t we're talking about the same thing. Hold on one second. Are you talking about these? Or these? Let's see. Because I was going to put some feet on these. Um, not tomorrow, but the next day. I was going to put some legs on them, some little feet, and decoupage them, and do a lid for them. And then this one, I don't know. I thought about making a wagon out of this, too. Could make a really cute wagon. No, not the boxes. Okay. Yeah, you're going to have to do a picture because I don't know what you're talking about. Pallets. I'm trying to think. Because I own probably ten of everything they have there, at least at my store. So my store might not have them yet. Oh my goodness. I can't barely even move. Sorry, I'm just going around and scuffing it up a little bit more. <laughs> I'll probably be playing with this all night, scuffing it in places. Okay, um, well, I'm going to get off here, guys, and I'm going to take my medicine for the night and go lay in bed um, until Neil's done and then I might end up going to the ER tonight because I just I don't know if I can take it another night but um uh, Terry post those pictures for me to see and I'll take a look at them and see if I can't come up with something to do with them and I want to see because I don't know if I even have them and if not I might want them <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great night, guys. Bye.